Yeah, my name is Diony Guaranino. I'm from Venezuela. El Yaque is a Margarita. Yeah, I was born in Los Angeles, California, in Sherman Oaks. Uh, much people don't know about that, but I was seven months old when my parents decided to leave LA. And so we moved to a small Caribbean island in St. Vincent and Grandines. Uh, that's where I grew up. And that's where I had my, uh, I think it would probably be the best, you know, way to grow up thanks to my parents deciding to move. And, um, but yeah, then we moved to Margarita, to El Yaque. Uh, I was eight years old when I started winter. To start windsurfing though, I had to help out in the club and do little errands and stuff. So I had to earn it in a way. So it was really good the way they, they disciplined me at the beginning. But um, there was one local guy called Alexis Karache, very talented. He taught me how to windsurf and my sister as well. He was doing the sickest loop. So I, first thing I wanted to learn was a forward. I wasn't even learning, I didn't know nothing yet, even attack or jive, and I was, wanted to do a forward. So I remember I picked it up, it took me one year, thanks to Alexis, um, to, learn my, to learn how to loop. It took me only one year, to eight to nine years, years old, I already started doing my forwards without tacking or jiving. Well, you know, I think at 10 years old, I already knew what I wanted to do. I knew I was going to be a professional windsurf. Uh, my levels were really super high already at 10, but when there was like the windsurfing magazine would come to test and do all the testing because the Yaki was a mecca. All the European brands and everything would come to the Yaki to do their testing for the magazines, for video, and they would see me. They were just mind blowing. This young little blonde prick on the beach, you know? Because that was super annoying because when the brands came, I was always behind them. I would show up and then I would go straight up and tell them, can you please sponsor me? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Ten years old. This little punk right? yeah. <laughs> And you know it was good, but back then it wasn't normal. Now it's totally different. You see a young kid, the brand's picking up quick. But I think we broke that ice back in the day. Now it's different. So we proved that young could be good as well. But back then, young wasn't respected like it is now. And for a 13-year-old kid, I finished school. I would go straight, I would do my homework, pretend I'll do my homework. <laughs> I would go straight to work, give lessons, save up enough money, I went to Hawaii. My sister was there already. And my first sponsor actually was Ezzy Sales. He was looking at me a lot and he, he gave me the chance. And he said, if you want to, if you want the sponsorship, you got to work in my loft cleaning and I'll teach you actually how to repair sales as well so you can learn. So he gave me a bit of education there, he disciplined me a little bit, uh, Dave Ezzy. Um, so from there on, Dave Mel also, custom boards, he made me a custom board because Dave Ezzy hooked me up with Dave Mel. So I remember I got fully sponsored, I went to El Yaki with my plan get my mindset back home a little bit with my people two weeks after like one year that in Maui trying to get my dream come together so it took me one year going from Margarita to Maui to find my dreams and I made it I went to Yaki, I was inspired with all this I felt really good and comfortable and that's where I invented the Diablo the move which is a spot into duct tank so the move that that uh that Josh Stone invented the spot I turned it, I made a combo out of it and made it. It was secret though. So two or three weeks in, at home, then I went to Kimber Lake, straight, with no pressure really at all. I was 16, turning right there, 17. And I competed. I competed straight on. I remember I was just going heat by heat, doing my routine, and saving my invented move to Diablo for the end. So whoever was in the final, I'm sorry, man. That's gonna be the surprise move. You're, you're I'm gonna kill you with it. Yeah. I was ready. I was pumped up. I wanted to prove the world that a young guy can, can kick the world champion's ass, and that's exactly what I did. I won the final with that move. It wasn't the most perfect one, but it was clean. I mean, just my my butt went a little bit, and uh, I won that event. And after that. Yes, that was the beginning of my career. Yeah.